Solid stream for the Yoko's Grown. As you can see, we are sitting inside the house, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how we've been on YouTube for one whole year. It is our anniversary, it is my 50th birthday, and I thought I'd take you along and talk about what our future plans are and plant some seeds with you. As you can see, I have a little seed tray, has little watering, and I'll link this stuff down in the description as well. These particular ones, you'll uh, you know, I got them last year. Not really crazy about them. They're, they're kind of not in good quality, I guess is the way I'm going to say it. I'll show you a different one that I like even more, and I will also link those down in the description for you. These ones aren't the best of quality, but right now I am looking to save as much money um, as I can because we are buying a new house and spending money really isn't on, you know, it isn't on the horizon for stuff like this. So I have to save my money for seeds and utilize what I have. And I'm gonna give you some tips on different things that if you are trying to save some money, um, different ways that you can find some plant, sorry about that shake, different ways you can find some planters out there in your own space or things you can utilize that you already have around your house. So let me show you what, um, what we're gonna be planting in here. Um, not a lot. These are going to be flower seeds. So this dirt that I am using in here is Coast of Maine's seed starting mix. And I'll link this down in the description as well. I get this on eBay. If you buy four bags at a time, they reduce it to $18 a bag. And it's free shipping. Um, I don't tend to... You can't find this stuff at our local nursery. Um... What is it called? Ace Hardware in Mansfield, Texas. If anybody's local might be looking for Coast of Maine soil, they have it there, but unfortunately there is a markup on the price. So I tend to get my stuff on eBay, especially stuff like this. Um, I prefer, I'm going to move this camera, y'all. I'll move it forward. I prefer a better soil um, when I'm starting my seeds. So if you are starting seeds and you can't get say like a starting mix, you can get the Jiffy starting mix that you see everywhere. There's nothing wrong with that. Just know that it doesn't have a lot of nutrients. So as time goes on in your watering, you're going to have to use some kind of liquid fertilizer. Um, I usually, when I used to use it, I would use a mix of fish emulsion. And then I would also sometimes take banana peels and make that fertilizer. But you want your fur, your dirt to be nice and, you know, you want it to be fluffy. I don't, can you see that? It's dripping all over the table. Can you see how fluffy that is? So you want your soil to be fluffy. But let's talk about the seeds we're going to plant here and we're going to talk about our first year on YouTube. We're going to plant some poppies some columbines and some alyssum or lysium however you want to say it so we have been on here now for a total of one year now in that year's time by june of 2022 i had posted 100 videos between uh long form content and short form content and I have to tell you all, by then, with the combination of the crazy talk or the crazy drought that we had, and then the the weirdest year of bug infestations that I have ever had on this property, um, I think the most I've ever dealt with on this property are um, aphids, and those are super easy to get rid of. But we had a lot of crazy things. Don't follow me over on TikTok and you have a way to go over there and see TikTok, I suggest that you do because that's where I post all my craziness and all my infestations. Um, and if you're on there and you're on here, then you saw those crazy video of those millions of web worms that covered our entire backyard that was dropping from trees. Okay, so I don't have any of the plastic name tags, so I'm just going to use um, a little popsicle stick. I'm just going to put the name on here. So I know it's a poppy, and then on the back of the stick, I will put the date, which is the 13th. They're too long to go in here, so I have to cut the bottom off. But in that time of being on here, I had 
I really enjoyed doing the videos. Of course, you know, I'm new at recording. I'm not new at photography. Taking still pictures is one thing, but taking video and then editing that video, that was a whole new adventure that I had to go on. And I'm still learning, which is good. That's the way it's supposed to be in any kind of process and whatever your medium is. You should always continue to learn so you continue to grow. But in that time, by the time June came around, I was... I was burnt out. I'm not going to lie to you. Just trying to get 100 videos because I was following, and they are great people, um, the classes I took, but following their post as much as you can, just hit record, which is a phenomenal idea. But for someone who's new and who's just starting out, it was just too much. And videos in six months was a lot to try and accomplish. And I did accomplish it. I don't want you to think that I didn't accomplish it. I did. So when the holidays came around and my gardens, you know, we had the big tree break and that took out all of the stuff on the side garden. It took all of the stuff in the front garden. What you guys got to see um, in that video was just, I didn't, I was so distraught by, <laughs> by what happened. Um, I didn't film it as good as I should have. And because I didn't film it as good as I should have, I didn't have enough footage to show you just how much damage had been done. But, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. It allowed me to reset and explore other things that I love to do. And I didn't really see a response from that, so I just kind of let it go. And I felt like when the new year came and the new garden season was coming, we were going to get it started. Okay, I got all that, I <laughs> got all those done and got them in. Um, on the back of my popsicles, I know you're seeing the, that I'm writing the dates. I, I do that so I know when I plan them in case something happens to my little journal and I lose that for some reason, I have a reference. One of the things I wanna say about using these is because it's not painted, sometimes, uh, you know, the ink will kind of fade. So you, if you're worried about that, you could just paint the top of that and then and then write on it and not have to worry about that. But the other thing I want to say about a popsicle stick is for those of you who are worried, are you watering too much? Are you watering too less? These are actually nice little water indicators. So if you stick, you can see I stuck it halfway down. You stick it down, you know, halfway there. Mom, Say you want to know if it's wet. if it needs water, you pull it up and you can see that the stick is wet. It means your soil is fine. You don't have to, so you don't overwater. So you don't want to overwater anything. Okay, so back to um, where the yokels grow in the future here. One of the things, I will continue to do the garden content, but I'm also going to take you all along on all the renovations in this house and then take you along on what's going to take place over at the other house with the gardens. Now, the hope is over there that we can get everything covered and set up and, you know, have a pretty good sized garden. That's the hope. But, you know, sometimes things happen and we'll just have to see how it goes. So I don't know if you can see the seed tray. Okay, so we need Elysium Purple. Those of you who are just starting out, um, there are great books out there giving you guidelines on you know how you should plant your seeds and everything so each one of us does it a little different with me especially with these tiny 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 little seeds I just sprinkle them on the surface and then I go back over the top with a, just a little bit of soil and put it over the top now these will go out into my greenhouse and I apologize for the the little singing going on in the back my little ones in um, I'll put them out in the greenhouse. I'm not going to put any like heat mats under these. I'm going to save those for my peppers and they'll just go out there. Now these Elysium will come up and the poppies should come up pretty fast. But the columbines that we're getting ready to plant, those take a little while and I'm probably late on getting my columbines in from starting from seed because they are kind of an early, an early plant for us here in Texas. The goal at my new property is to start all my flowers either directly from seed or you know start seeds now and then have plants to take out there and plant and i absolutely love columbine it's one of my favorite early flowers since we're talking about the new property we have pretty much the location of everything i kind of gave you a brief in the last video 
If you didn't see that, I'll put it either up here on the top or at the very end of this, you'll get to see a link to it. And you, or I'll put it in the description too, so in case you missed the link, um, for you to go and see those pictures. Um, we've been back out there and we know that we have to have the well looked at because it has well water. Um, it does already have irrigation in the locations where we're going to be putting the garden. So that's going to make things a lot easier. It's just a matter of it hasn't been used in a long time. So we have to find the connections to it and everything. But I plan to continue doing garden videos. And like I said, I'm going to take you along the way because we are doing some unique DIYs here in the house. And then of course, the cleanup that's over there. It's a lot of cleanup and we'll be taking you along on that. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about the things that you're seeing. I know I'm going through it really fast. I'm getting ready to put the dirt over. But if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm happy to answer anybody's questions. And honestly, if I don't have the answer to it, I will send you to somebody who does have that answer for you. Because the truth is, um, I'm just a home gardener. I've been doing it now. I'm going into my 21st or 22nd year of gardening. But, you know, I follow kind of my own, I follow my own path. I have guidelines, you know, but I still follow my own path. So let me show you how to put this dirt on here. Yeah, I don't make it complicated, y'all. I just have a cup and let's see, I'll move this back. And I just go over the top just like this, just right over, making sure that all of them, all the seeds are covered that I see. And then I just go in and just pat it in. And just like that you don't want to like shove your seeds down in your soil because it, then they're just going to have a hard time coming up to the surface remember we want our seeds to penetrate down for roots and easy surface that makes sense to you all right and there we go those seeds are planted just like that here are the other seed trays that i have now when you get these seed trays you're going to get a watering pan you're going to get the cell you're gonna get the lid, has the little vents, and these particular ones come with, I don't know if they call them a spoon or a fork, to lift out the soil, but I prefer these ones over these green ones and because they are extremely sturdy, and they're gonna last much longer than these green ones, but I'm not gonna to lie to you, these are not cheap. Um, you get five, maybe six, and it's 30 bucks. And when you're starting out gardening, or you're on a budget, that is just really not a great option. So let me show you a couple of things. These are just, these are just like when I've bought flowers or I've bought any kind of vegetables from the nurseries. I keep these, you can see, see how clean they are? I keep them and I reuse them. So that's a way you can get a free planting container. Say you don't, you're like, hey, I don't have those. You want to get things like this. I want you, no matter where you are in the United States, I want you to go onto your marketplace on Facebook and then go into marketplace and up at the top in the search, uh, little search bar up at the top of marketplace, put in landscaper or landscape pots for sale. And what that'll indicate is it's landscapers who go around and they put in you know, they go and landscape people's property. Most of them keep these things and they sell them for pennies on the dollar. I've gotten them for five cents each. I've gotten, I have, I don't know if you all saw the tree uh, video with the 30 gallon pots. If you haven't, I will link that down in the description. It's about planting my large uh, fruit trees in containers. I got 30 gallon pots from a, it was a local landscaper. And I ended up six and he gave me eight and I paid him $60 for all of those. I think I got eight. No, yes, I got eight because I had used four and I still have four. But I, I got those from him, but the year before when I didn't have a lot of money and I didn't have a lot of money, you know, 2020 kind of took a lot of us by storm and money was tight. And I actually found another um, lady who was starting a nursery. So she had all these little small pots and I got a hundred of those for five bucks. So those are just ways. You can also use things from your house. Go get you another inexpensive thing you can do. You can go to Dollar Tree and I believe you get 10 of these for $1.25 and that's a 
pretty good price. And these will last you a long time. You just poke the holes gently in the bottom here and you know you can write on it put a stick in it but there's a container you can use just about any plastic cup if you're someone who has yogurt cups use your yogurt cups don't throw them away um, let's see what else you can use um, for those of you who get rotisserie uh, chickens let's see well anything cookies anything in a plastic container all those things can be used um, I do have a video where I talk about those things it was like one of the first or second videos I ever did and I'll put that down in the description for you all so you can go and look at that as well. So if y'all are new here to Where the Yokels Grow, welcome. I'm so glad that you came and decided to click on this video and to see what it was about. If you stayed to the end, please consider subscribing because there will be a lot more gardening videos coming. Um, my goal from this point on, because I burnt myself out so fast, is to at least post one video a week. Um, if I can get up more than one video a week as we get into the height of um, garden season, but I'm thinking I probably won't because we are going to have so much to do over at the new house plus things we have to do here just to sell, you know, to get out of this, sell this house and, and move on. So I'm going to do my best to plant, I'm sorry, not plant, <laughs> to post at least one video a week. And again, if I can post more, I will. If I can't, I can't. You know, that's that's just kind of how it's going to go. I'm not going to stress myself out anymore about getting as many videos up as I can. It's just not uh, the channel I want to be. So if you all are new here, I welcome you to this channel. Thank you for coming and clicking on this. <laughs> and if you have been here from the beginning or you've come in at some point in time and you are one of our subscribers, I truly want you to know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. I love that you're here and I love answering your questions and your comments anytime you want to leave them. So I just want to thank you all for hanging out with me in this video today. I know it probably wasn't exactly what you were hoping for and I apologize for that. I hope I gave you a little bit of information on planting seeds in this video, but I do have another video that goes in more depth and I will put that down in the description for you as well so you can go and watch that one. Until I see you in the next video, you all take care of yourselves. You keep your heads up and no matter how you do it, you keep growing. Bye bye y'all.